Today, I'm going to be taking you through the steps of how to make this adorable, cute little pin cushion. I call it Shiner the Sheep. I have a written pattern for this as well in my Revelry store. You'll be able to find a link down below in the description box. So let's get started with this project. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Purple Tulip Workshop where you learn your stitches and stitch to create with love. I'm your host Shipra and I'll be taking you through a series of videos on different types of stitches and projects. So if you're excited and ready to learn, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notifications so you'll never miss when I post a new video. So for today's project, I'm going to be using some plush yarn. This is by White Rose and I've got this in off-white shade. I have this as some leftovers, so I'm using that. And we're going to be using some glossy mellow cotton yarn, which is also by White Rose. It's in the shade of grey and this has a similar thickness to a fingering yarn. I'm going to be requiring a scissors, a darning needle, a locking pin, and I'm going to be using two hooks. The first hook is of the size of 6mm which is the same as size J10 in the US and I'll be using this with the plush yarn and the second hook is in the size of 2.25 mm which is the same as size B1 in the US and I'm going to be using that with the cotton yarn so let's get started so first we're going to make the head of the sheep and we're going to start up by making a magic ring and inside this magic ring I'm going to be doing six single crochets that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So in round two, I'm going to be increasing in every stitch. So that's two single crochets in each stitch. So in round three, I'm going to be doing a sequence of doing one single crochet and then I'm going to be increasing in the second stitch which is doing two single crochets in that same stitch and I'm going to be repeating this sequence all the way through. For this fourth round, I'm going to be doing a sequence where I'm going to be doing one single crochet. And in the next stitch, I'm going to be doing an increase, which is two single crochets in that same stitch. And then I'm going to be doing two single crochets. So that's one single crochet. And then another one single crochet. And then I'm going to increase, which is two single crochets in the same stitch. I'm going to repeat this sequence all the way till the end.
Now in round five, I'm going to be doing three single crochets. So that's one single crochet in the three stitches. That's two and that's three. And now I'm going to increase. So that's going to be two single crochets in the same stitch. And I'm going to repeat the sequence all the way till the end. So for around six till nine, I'm going to be doing single crochets all the way till the end. So I'll be repeating this sequence for four rounds. Now that we've done the four rounds of single crochets, we will be moving on to round 10. And now I will be decreasing. So I'm going to do three single crochets. So that's one, two, three. And I will be decreasing the next two stitches. So I'm going to be lifting the front loops of both the stitches onto my hook. And I will pull the yarn through and I will pull the yarn through. And I will repeat the sequence all the way through till the end. For round 11, I'm going to be doing single crochets all the way through till the end. For round 12, I'm going to be doing a single crochet in this first stitch and then I will be decreasing the next two stitches and I'm going to be using the invisible decrease technique here. Now I'm going to be doing two single crochets and then I'm going to be decreasing the next two stitches. So I'm going to repeat this sequence all the way through till the end.
For round 13 till 16, I'm going to be doing single crochets all the way through till the end. So that's for four rounds. If you want, then you can place in a safety toy eyes uh, in on the row 12 till 13 between those two rows and keeping two stitches in between. Now I'm going to stuff the head with fiber fill, so stuff it firmly. For round 17, I'm going to be doing a single crochet and then I will be decreasing the next two stitches. So I'm going to decrease these two stitches now. And I'm going to repeat this sequence all the way through till the end. For round 18, I'm going to be doing the decreases. So I'm going to be decreasing each two stitches all the way through. Now I'm going to just pull out my yarn and I'm going to be getting hold of my darning needle or a tapestry needle and we're going to be weaving in the remaining six stitches that we have at the top. And now I'm going to just pull onto this yarn tight to close up the hole. Now we're going to start up with the body of the sheep and I'm using this plush yarn. It's in an off-white uh, cream shade. And we're going to start up with the magic ring and I'm going to make six single crochets inside this magic ring.
So in round two, I'm going to be increasing in every stitch. So that's two single crochets in each stitch. So in round three, I'm going to be doing a sequence of doing one single crochet and then I'm going to be increasing in the second stitch which is doing two single crochets in that same stitch and I'm going to be repeating this sequence all the way through. For round four, I'm going to be doing single crochet in the first stitch, then an increase in the second stitch. And then I'm going to be doing two single crochets and an increase sequence all the way through till the end. So that's one, two, and then I'm going to increase and I will repeat this till the end. So for round 5 till 7, I'm going to be doing single crochets all the way through till the end and I will repeat this sequence for 3 rounds. So for round 8, I'm going to be doing a decrease. I will be doing a single crochet in the first stitch and then I will be decreasing the next two stitches. I will then follow on to doing two single crochets and a decrease sequence all the way through till the end.
I will firmly now stuff the body of the sheep with some fibrofill. For round 9, I will be doing a single crochet in the next stitch and then I will be decreasing the next two stitches. And I will repeat this sequence all the way through till the end. For the last round, which is round 10, I will be decreasing all the stitches. So I will be decreasing two stitches and making one. Now we'll be just getting hold of our darning needle or our tapestry needle and we will weave in the remaining six stitches and we will pull our yarn tight to close the hole. Now it's time to make the legs of the sheep. So we're going to make four of these legs and I'm going to use the grey cotton yarn and I'm going to make our magic ring with six single crochets inside the magic ring. For round two, I'm going to be increasing in each of the stitch. So I'm going to be doing two single crochets in each stitch.
Now for round three, I'm going to be doing a single crochet and then an increase in the next stitch and I will follow this sequence all the way through till the end. For round four till seven, I'm going to be doing single crochets all the way through till the end. So that's going to be for four rounds. Now to finish off the leg, I'm going to be doing a slip stitch in the next stitch. And now I'm going to do a chain one and I'll pull the yarn through. So here we go, we have one of the legs ready. So now it's time to make the ears of the sheep. And we're going to be folding these ears later on. So we're going to start up with our grey yarn and I'm going to make a magic ring with six single crochets inside the magic ring. Now for the second round, I'm going to be doing an increase in each of the stitch. So that's going to be two single crochets inside each of the stitch. For round three, I'm going to be doing a single crochet in the first stitch and then I will be doing an increase in the second stitch. So that's going to be two single crochets inside the second stitch. And I'll repeat the sequence all the way through till the end. Now to finish off this round, I'm going to be doing a slip stitch in the next stitch and then chain one and I'll pull onto the yarn and snip the yarn. 
So we have the ear loop ready. For how to make these crochet eyes, you can refer to the link above. For the tail, I'm going to use the gray yarn and I'm going to double the yarn. And I'm going to be doing chain 10. So I'm going to do my slip knot. And now I'm going to just do chain 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And in this last loop, I'm going to be inserting some more yarn. Just wrap some of the yarn around your fingers. And I'm going to insert this yarn into the last loop and I'll pull onto this loop tight. And now I'm going to bind off some of the yarn around the tip of the tail. We're just going to wrap the yarn around with a knot so it's binding off some of these yarns together. And now I'm going to just snip up the tip. Like this. And here we go, we have the tail ready. Now with some plush yarn in my darning needle or tapestry needle, I'm going to be placing in a few stitches right at the top of the head to create the fluff. Now with the help of my hook, I'm going to pull through this additional yarn inside the head, like this. And now I'm going to snip up the extra yarn, which is left over. Now I'm going to weave in the extra plush yarn that we had left over within the existing stitches like this time to get our ear ready so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get hold of my darning needle and then I'm going to weave in the center tail within the existing stitches 
like this. And now I'm going to be folding the ear into half and I'm going to stitch three stitches together. So I'm going to be sewing these three stitches together. And here we go, we have the ear ready. And I'm going to place this at the top of the head between round 14 and 15. And I'm going to stitch it flat. like this. Mark the points for the eyes between row 12 and 13 and now I'm going to be sewing these eyes onto these points. And I've kept a gap of two stitches between both the eyes. So I've got my eye yarn ready in the darning needle. And now I'm going to start sewing in the first eye here. And I'm going to repeat the same for the second eye. With some pink embroidery thread, I'm going to now embroider the mouth for Shina. I've got my thread ready in my needle. So I've got this in double strength. Now I'm going to embroider the mouth in a diagonal shape. So it's going to be like this. Now I'm going to attach the tail to the bottom part of the body. So I'm going to insert my hook in and I'm going to pull through the tail. And now I'm going to place in a double knot with both the yarns to secure it in. Like this. And now I'm going to just pull these additional extra yarn through the same hole with my hook.
Now we're going to sew in the legs of the sheep to the body. And once that's done halfway through on the sewing, I will then be putting in the fiber fill firmly. So now I'm going to put in the fiber fill. And I'm going to sew in the remaining leftover stitches. attached to the body now. There we go. And now we're going to repeat the same for the remaining three legs. And we're going to position these three legs like this. So we have the head ready with the eyes and the mouth done. And we're going to now attach it to the body. I'm going to place in a new yarn right at the center here. I'm going to now place in a knot to secure this yarn. And now we're going to attach it over here, right at the center, the front side of the sheep's body, like this. I'm going to pull up a couple of yarn stitches on the plush yarn and then a couple of yarn stitches on the cotton yarn. There we go, we have Shine of the Sheep ready for your pins. It's such a gorgeous, cute little sheepy. I love it, I adore it so much. And my pins look gorgeous on it. Enjoy this pattern. So if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel from the link below and click on to the bell icon for the latest updates. Take care for now and stay safe. Bye bye.